is AMD's Ryzen 9800X 3D is all hype or it's going to be the next gaming king? Let's talk about that. AMD has officially announced their first Zen 5 based X3D CPU, the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D along with some benchmarks. And there are a few things that I want to talk about the benchmarks that was shown in the announcement that I guess not a lot of people are talking about. So stick till the end of this video. Now most rumors were right about this CPU. It is an 8 core 16 thread part with 4.7 gigahertz of base clock which is a 500 megahertz in increment over 7800X 3D and 5.2 GHz of boost clock. The CPU also features 104 megabytes of AMD's second generation 3D V cache, 96 megabytes of which is reserved for L3. But what are the improvements that the second generation 3D V cache brings? That is not clear. But with 9000 series CPUs, the cache is going to be on the bottom and the core CCD is going to be on the top. With previous generation X3D CPUs, the cache used to be on the top of the core CCD, which used to make those CPUs run a little bit hotter than the non X3D parts. Also, the CPU is rated at 120 watts. Thank God AMD didn't try to underpower this CPU too. And because of this redesign and Zen 5 efficiency, along with 9800X3D, all the other X3D CPUs will be fully unlocked. That means you'll be able to manually overclock the CPU's clock speed to the extent that the silicon will allow you to. And according to Gamer Nexus, an average 9800X 3D can be overclocked to by 200 megahertz, which will put the CPU's clock speed around 5.4 gigahertz. And we have seen in recent leaks and rumors that a 9800X 3D already have been overclocked to 5.6 gigahertz. Now, the cooling solution was not disclosed so your situation may vary depending on what type of cooling situation you have you have a tower cooler liquid cooler or a custom loop what kind of motherboard you have and obviously you have to factor in the silicon lottery and the cpu will be priced at 479 dollars which is 20 dollars higher than 7800 x3d now i would have loved to see the cpu the 9800 x3d to be launched at the same launch price as the 7800 x3d but again currently 7800 x3d is selling around 450 460 dollars so it might not be that much expensive but this 479 dollars can make reviews very interesting which i'm coming to later but now let's talk about benchmarks AMD showed two slides one comparing the 9800x 3d with their own 7800x 3d and with intel's latest flagship core ultra 9285k AMD says that the 9800x 3d is 20 percent faster on average but the biggest gains that are showed are in cyberpunk 2077 which is 56 percent faster base marine 2 42 percent faster black ops 6 47% and Final Fantasy 14 41% and all of these games are very recent launched in this year except Cyberpunk 2077 but all of them are very popular most people are still playing these games also in esports title like CS2 the 9800X 3D is 28% faster and yes Black Myth is just 1% faster, but that game is GPU bound. If you compare the 9800X 3D with Intel's latest flagship, it completely beats it. AMD leads by a huge margin. But the problem is Intel's own latest generation flagship is slower than their last generation. So we need to compare the 9800X 3D with Intel's 4900K. That would be a much more fair comparison. But here's the thing. Even then, the 7800X 3D is faster than 4900K. So what happens if we compare 9800X 3D with 7800X 3D? According to AMD, the 9800X 3D is 8% faster on average across 40 games compared to 7800X 3D. The biggest games that were showed by AMD was in Hogwarts Legacy, 26%. But the games where 9800X 3D had big leaps while comparing to 285K, the 7800X 3D doesn't really allow the 9800X 3D to shine that much. In Cyberpunk, the 9800X 3D is just 1% faster. In Final Fantasy 14, 
six percent cs2 again six percent black of six eleven percent and in space marine two 18%. So it doesn't look that impressive in some games, but in some it does. But here's the thing. In the press release, AMD said that even though the number of average FPS is not that big, but the 9800X3D will offer you better gaming experience by giving you better 1%. According to AMD, in Last of Us Part 1, the 9800X3D have 31% better 1% average FPS comparing it to 7800X3D. And to be honest, sometimes 1% FPS is more important than average FPS because it will tell you how smoothly your games will run. You can have over 200 plus average FPS but if your 1% average is trailing around 40 FPS, 40 FPS then you're really not gonna have a good experience while playing that game. And also these numbers are coming from AMD and in recent few years AMD's track record in that is not really that good. But I don't think this time they are overhyping the CPU. But still, I would suggest you wait for third party reviews before you make your mind. But if I have to predict, most reviews will go something like this. The 9800X 3D is definitely improvement over 7800X 3D. But not by a much that you have to throw your 7800X 3D to buy a 9800X 3D. But if you were planning to buy a 7800X 3D, then you should go and buy the 9800X 3D. And also, if you do more than gaming on your PC, like computational stuff, video editing, 3D rendering, then the 9800X 3D can be a better option than 7800X 3D. But at the price that the 9800X 3D is coming at, well, it is getting very close to Ryzen 9 territory. Or I could be totally wrong. And we will know it very soon because the press embargo on 6th of November. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button. If you haven't, well, feel free to dislike. And let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about the new 9800X 3D. And if you want to watch more videos from us, check out this video right here. And if you want to subscribe, which I highly appreciate if you do that, well, do it by here. And this is Akash. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.